Casey O'Brien with us here in the Job and Dola Show, senior at Riverside. Uh, Casey, for you, you've been through a little bit of adversity here in your senior season. Talk about, you know, trying to get back on the field. Yeah, um, well, it's been tough. Didn't know if I was going to be able to come back. It's starting to look like I'll be back for playoffs. Um, but definitely a couple of rough weeks, you know, not knowing if I would be back on the field, just trying to help out the guys as much as I can, you know, throughout this tough time. How about limitations? Like, are you able to do some physical stuff and kind of trying to lead up to get yourself in baseball shape, so to speak? Yeah, the last uh, the last two or two, three weeks, I've been able to do some more physical activity. Um, going to be back to semi-full, like, into the full swing of things soon here and probably this next week, uh, hopefully. But lifting, you know, eating right was a big thing because broken jaw, I lost 40 pounds. I was, had to get back up to my normal weight, uh, just drinking a lot of water. Talk about the support, you know, your team's patience, your coach's patience, your family's patience, and then ultimately you have to have patience with this whole thing. You feel like it's been a pretty good supportive group? For sure, definitely. Everybody on the team's been so helpful. Uh, guys stepping into the spots that they've never been. Patrick Higgins stepping in at shortstop. Um, our freshman, Paz, uh, Jason Paz with me. Just really, he's getting ahead every game. It's been amazing. They've been supporting me throughout my recovery. The coaches have been great. Uh, the community, Pataglia's, with getting me helmets and stuff. Uh, just everybody's been so helpful. How about on your end as far as, you know, okay, you know, now I'm seeing the game a little differently. What's it been like for you? Do you feel like, okay, I'm learning a little bit more? Obviously, you, you talked about that patience part, but just talk a little bit about that perspective. Yeah, so being out, really, I kind of got put into a coaching role, kind of, uh, you know, going to practices, seeing the game from the bench is a lot different than in the game. You see a lot more things that, you know, other guys can improve on, um, more things that coaches can improve on, just everything, base running, hitting, way guys are throwing the ball. It's You can pick up on the pitchers better. It's just, it's. I think it's gonna help me when I come back uh, by just seeing the full picture of the game. How about some of the younger players, what you're trying to do to maybe help them and seeing how they're developing as the year's gone on here? Uh, the freshmen this year have surprised me like tremendously. We're a great group of guys, a lot of talent, uh, helping out some guys at my, my position sword stop as I can't play, but just seeing the way that they're fielding, helping out the second baseman, helping out on their swings, just, but they've been doing really good. Really, I haven't needed to do anything dramatic with any of them. They're just raw baseball players. Let's talk about Coach Hughes' approach to the game and the confidence he instills in you guys. And you guys still got to go out there and perform. He's like, listen, you know, you, you can't take that foot off the gas. Talk about these these Vikings of you guys, you know, just being on every day. Yeah, so in the beginning of the year, it was like we would, we would play and we would come out a little bit flat, but we would never give up and we would never have like a down mentality. We would always kind of stay cool, level-headed. We're not like the other teams where we're out there rah-rah the entire time. We're kind of just level-headed, which you kind of need to play baseball as Coach Hughes um, really tries to like stick, stick into our brains. It's, it's a long season. If you're one of those teams that's rah-rah and you know, you could, uh, you could lose your energy fast. So you want to stay level-headed throughout the entire season. Family to you, talk about you know the support that you get from them, and obviously going through adversity and yeah. them being there for you. Yeah, so my mom and dad have been huge. My siblings have been huge. When I was in the hospital, my sister came down from Penn State. Um, she was in the hospital with me every day. I was there for five days. My mom, my dad, my cousins, everybody has just been so supportive in the whole process, and you know just. Awesome to have. Next step for you, Bloomsburg University, great place to be. Talk about the, that decision and what you're going to study. It was really simple decision for me, to be honest. I Once I stepped on campus, I was their first visit. It was my first visit, too. I just felt the sense of home there with the coach, Mike Collins, and uh, just the group of guys there. A lot of guys from this area, a lot of guys from Baseball U, which I come from. My roommate I played with over the summer. Just great program, and I'm excited to build 
Not easy to play PSAC baseball. Good challenge ahead for you. Yep. Well, obviously, we want to see you get back on the field here for high school and then see what the future holds. Good to catch up with you and all the best. Thank you.